Right, we're at Digger Lakes in Columpton. We're on snails. We've got in Tyler's Bay, which we wanted. Loads of fish in here, so we're hoping to get on them. Um, yeah, loads see. showing around, They're all over the top at the minute. So, yeah, hopefully we can get back to you with some fish soon. Rig-wise, I'm going with D-Rig that I've been using for over a year now. It's done me all my fish with a um, 12 mil milky toffee pop up on top of a 12 mil manila boilie as a snowman. It just sits like that. And it seems to does do the trick with just a small scattering of 12 mil manila over the top. And as we're um, fishing on the far margin where we can literally walk to and just drop our rigs in by hand, instead of whole boilers, I'm going to be putting quite a bit of crumb out so just to get them grubbing around a bit a few chops a few holes as well and just right then guys not really had much to report from my front today um i had one take today from this spot here absolute one toner and it's just wrapped me around the pipe i was fishing not fully locked up it's just mugged me off to be honest, wrapped me around there and just snapped me off straight away. So just getting the rods out for the night now. So I'm just gonna lower this in. Put a little bit of bait over the top, not a great deal. Because they're not in here in massive numbers at the moment. I'm just fishing literally for a bite at a time. on it. Spread a few around. Right, so a little evening update from me. Um, the rods are out properly now. I've been messing around all day trying to get them sorted, but they're out in clear spots over the far bank, both rods, uh, both on solid bags with a few 10 mil cell over the top. Um, pretty quiet so far this evening, so I haven't seen anything to show. Me and Oakley have both had a few liners, so see what the night brings. Redone the um, right hand rod, moved that a little bit further down, a bit more centrally to me, on a slightly deeper spot. It's almost like a bit of a bit of a hole. Um, yeah, put put it in there with a with a small um, twelve mil milky toffee. Just sat as a wafter, really. Uh, left hand left hand rod that's that stayed where it is. <clears throat> Went and put a couple more handfuls of pellet over it um, a little while ago. But they're they're out there for the night now. Temperatures definitely dropped a little bit. Nothing's showed as such we went for a little mooch round earlier just to see if anything was about there's a, a bit of mud kicking up in the corner hopefully they'll push around the margins during the night i'm confident for something tonight so i have a feeling they'll be hugging the margin a bit but we'll have a, we'll have a look but Connor's just said he's in you actually in just as i was doing my update Connor is in. Oh, 
Connor hasn't had a fish. Fish on. <laughs> well, it turns out the fish, the fish dumped me, and I've reared in a load of weed. So That's what it's all about. Hopefully, something else tonight might happen. <laughs> Right, it's Saturday morning now. Uh, nothing happened throughout the night. No liners. Very quiet night actually. You didn't hear anything. I think what they, I think what they do because it's quite shallow in here. They push in here during the days when it's um when it warms up because obviously it's quite a warm weekend here now. Um, so I'm hoping for something today. I've um. Move the rods because Connor's moved out of the corner swim into the swim down there to fish the, the channel channel that connects um, Tyler's to the main lake. So yeah, I've moved um, moved my right hand rod. So I moved my right hand rod down, sort of around there. There's a small um, like overflow pipe that sits out of the water, and around it is a massive massive clear patch um, and you quite often see it, see it vibrating where the fish are rubbing up against it and um, my left hand rod is just off of them stumps there there's another sort of very small clear patch and then it goes into um, like sediment from the from the leaves or whatever so what I think happened, well, obviously I didn't hear any fish in here last night. I think perhaps fishing directly on the clean spots might be a bit, a bit too obvious. So I've gone um, to be a bit more discreet and to blend in a bit. I've gone with a match the hatch wafter, um, but fishing that on top of the sediment with a few boilies over First fishing session for us after five bites now, losing four to the weed. It's not massive, but um, probably, I don't know, 10, 11 pounds, something like that. But it's rewarding for the fact that obviously we've had all them bites and been overdone by the weed at the minute, but hopefully this is the start. Um, yeah, show the other side quickly. These little stocked fish are absolutely mint. Not a mark on them. There you go. Right, we're slipping back and hopefully have a few more. That's where I'm having them. Nah, on, the, on, the, on this bit, she just...
managed another one. This one's smaller than the first one. Um, I don't know, probably seven or eight pound maybe. But again, mint looking little fish. I think they're C4s that he's stocked in here. Um, again, the shape of them, they're definitely going to put weight on. But yeah, I'll show you the other side quickly. This one's on a solid bag again, just down the left margin this time. And they're mint looking fish. But um, hopefully we can have something else a bit bigger. Right, I'm just going to show you through the swim. Um, as a lot of you know that fish it, this is Tyler's Bay um, on Tyler's Island in the bay. Um, but obviously, I'm not actually fishing out there because all the fish that I'm having at the minute are coming out of this back channel. Um, where the bridge is straight in front of me there is where the entrance to the main lake so the fish can come through here when it's pressured or whatever and they can come into here. Um, this rod here, I'm fishing just down into this little corner few snags and that fishing just on the edge of this bush here and that's done me all three bites so far this rod i expect to do me a fish especially as it comes to evening when the fish push out of here and that one's literally fish just in the middle of the channel there so where both of the rods are really they should do a fish but i'm sure oakley will show you where he's fishing right later. it didn't take long after getting that left hand rod out another little stocky but absolutely lush fish um probably about 11 pound I'd say but after it's a warmer evening I'm hoping for a few more that one was on the left hand margin with a single 12 mil diamond white wafter and it's resulted in this one hopefully for a, a few more tonight well the rod I literally found a clear spot out in the mid water been out there probably 20 minutes Solid bag, a few cell boilers over the top. And whilst I'm resetting out my other rods, this one's been absolutely ripping off. So hopefully we can get this one in. It'll be the fifth fish of the session. <laughs> every other time uh, biggest one so far which is actually quite bad but I don't know it's probably what 12 13 pounds something like that on the left hand rod again on the solid bags I'll switch them over <clears throat> so what I'll do is in the next bit of video I'll show you where I'm fishing and uh, how I'm training the rig as well. Right, I'm just going to recast the rod I just caught the fish on. This is the rig I'm using. It's a 12mm pop up, sat on a size 4 curve shank, which basically sits like a wafter on the bottom. Um, I'm pulling it into a small mesh bag of crumbed up cell and some small pellet. So it just sits in like that, pulls into the bag, stops tangling, and you know it's presented every time you put it out there. So let's go and put it out.
had eight runs today. No, seven runs today. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, we've had um, seven runs today. Landed three, four, four. The weed's just killing us at the minute because you're fishing over the back of the weed. So the minute you get a take, it's just you've you... landed four. I've landed one. Yeah, sorry, so five landed today. Um, nothing big though. We're still getting the stockies out, but it was... when I heard of a thirty-one come out. Uh, last night, I believe the bailiff was saying. A free scale. Yeah, free scale 31, which is a nice fishery. One of the originals as well. But um, Apparently, there's still, what was it? He said three or four 30s. Yeah, he reckons there's still three or four 30s in here. Good at the 20s as well. He reckons 60 or 20 plus fish in it, with half of them being sort of 25 upwards, which is nice. But um, there's, we've actually seen a few fish show tonight. It's cloudy, overcast, so it's. It's quite a mild night as well. Yeah, it's looking good for a few fish tonight, hopefully. I say I had one about an hour ago. Yeah, about that. Uh, we didn't actually vlog it, because I was still messing around, sorting my bivy out and everything, so we didn't actually vlog it. I got photos, so we'll add them on after this clip. We got the um, fighting film. Yeah, we've got the video, so you'll see that. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can have someone else tonight, which would be... Uh, yeah, because nice. we had... Um, what was it? Was it three runs we've had, or two runs, as it's gone from, like, sunset into, like dark what's that called dusk in it dusk yeah, yeah dusk yeah, there's, there's a few um showing in here it's nice you know i don't know if people are watching this have ever actually fished in here but you've got your own little bay to yourself which is like a channel from the main lake which normally when it's pressured on the main they'll push in here um and there's i think 12 on is there i think there's 12 on you can only have 12 people on the whole complex but so i believe there's only there's 10 on the main lake yeah, you can, have, two in yeah here. you can have 12 on 16 swims 12 anglers on snails um, there's 10 on the main lake tonight, it's full for what you can actually get on here. So we're keeping like, keeping everything pinned down, slack lines, and hopefully the fish already know we're in it. No. If, um, well, I suppose if we had thought about it prior, well, we didn't know we were going to get it in here. And how long is it? We've, it's been over a year since we fished here. And since we fished here, obviously they had the, unfortunately, the fish kill. But since then they've restocked it, <clears throat> and the far margin's completely been sort of cut away and yeah, the, the snags I used to fish to where I caught a lot of the decent original fish from uh, they're all gone now <laughs> that seems to be patrolled by a lot of the stockies obviously they've come in and just sort of getting the reds down anyway really yeah. but um, so if, yeah. um if if well like uh, as I was saying if we'd sort of pre-thought about it we could have bought a few extra bank sticks and actually washing lined I reckon that could have put a, a few more fish on the bank than what we've had so far because obviously mm. there's no lines in the water then Typical angle error that is. Probably should have brought him, but didn't really think we'd get in here. But we did. No fish to show down to the right hand side then. They're definitely down here. It's just waiting now for one of them to pick the baits up. Yeah. So hopefully, should we've be only too long. It, we've only been here, what, 36 hours? Well, Something just like under, that. isn't it? Just under. We're we, didn't, we didn't get the rods out until about 6 o'clock yesterday evening, so yeah. it's only what? Just, what's the time now? It's, I think it's just gone 8. Yeah, something like that. So no, it's about it's, nine. It's only, but... Yeah, so it's only, what, 27 hours we've been fishing? Yeah. Which isn't a bad session, really. Eight runs, five, five landed yeah. in 28 hours. And here, it used to be a case of 48 hours, what, maybe one or two fish. Yeah. I know we've only had the stockies, but it's a fish is a fish, and they're all mint-looking fish. So Hope for a few more. Fingers nice. crossed, anyway. But if we do have anything else, we'll let you know in the night, obviously, you'll see it. If not, then we'll do an update in the morning. Hopefully see you in the night. Cheers. Right, morning update, guys. Um, the weather, as you see, it's changed quite a bit from yesterday, which is quite nice. And Oakley's put a rod down in the margin down here. And it's just going to absolutely rip it off. I think it's only a stocky again, but it's his second bite. I had two runs, one at 11 o'clock last night, one at two this morning. Sadly, in the weed, they both done me. Um, but yeah, the weather's looking prime for it today, to be honest. Not so many for show, but this one's just ripped out of the blue, which is nice. It's quite a quiet night, isn't it, really? Well, yeah. A bit more productive than the first night, though. Yeah. Is that a single solid bag, wasn't it? Yeah. Single solid bag with a, a handful of 12 mil. You can actually see it on the, on the camera here. You've got the, the lighter stuff. That's a clear spot, you've got the weed just behind it. He's fishing just on the edge of the weed. 
So yeah, leaded about early this morning, well, I say early, about seven ish this morning. Felt it was, because it looked clear, felt it was, so I just chopped a solid bag on it. Hope for the best, really, innit? It's gone off. So working our way through these stockies at the minute, just open up with the next bite, we'll see something decent. Yeah, she is a nice little scaly one. Right, but finally another fish after quite a slow start for me. It's probably the smallest one we've had so far between us, but still a nice looking stocky, but um, hopefully they get a bit bigger. What's our 11th bite now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 11th bite in about 36 hours we've been here. Um, you can tell these fish are going to be absolute bangers when they when they put on a few pounds, but just for now, they're just small little C, are they C3s or C4s? C4s, I think. Yeah, but nice fish, but you can tell they've got potential for a few years time so hopefully we see him again when he's a 20. All right this is where I um had the fish from which we just flip under arm flicked it in line with this tree opposite now. To see how clear the water is it's actually fairly deep there. Fish <laughs> the weight has paid off wading through the smaller fish I mean, it's not massive but it's a really nice fish it's 22 pound exactly nice linear there it is okay, it's well worth going through the stockies to have this one uh, left hand rod just down in the bay behind me out of nowhere really we're just watching some football and then the rods ripped off so i'll show you the side quickly Again on the solid bags, just down the margin. 12 mil milky toffee pop-ups. So yeah, we'll get some photos and we'll um, put it back in. Well, mid-afternoon now. I've just had one down in the down in the bay down there. Another stocky again. It's annoying, I want some of the bigger fish, but can't moan that I'm catching. But Connor has just had one. From his reaction, I think it's a bit bigger than a stocky, so we'll go over and see what he's had. Any size is it, bye? I don't know exactly how big he is, but I've got a feeling he might be like touching 30, maybe a little bit bigger. Christ. He's a big old fish. Buzzing with that. Buzzing. Let's get him out, see what he weighs. Right, so just gonna just gonna weigh this fish now before we get it up for photos and stuff. It's a decent fish. Let us know what the big is. Twenty nine. Twenty nine two. Twenty nine two. Twenty nine two. Right, well, we've both managed to brace a fish. Mine's gone, was it 29? 29 2. 29 yeah. pound 2 mine, and Mine's just probably 11, day. 12 pound for a piece of stocking. We'll lift them up for you now. Yeah, a real couple of nice fish. You've got the fish that are going to come on, and you've got the original ones that you know, survive the fish queue like this one. This is an absolute unit. I thought it was going to go £30, but just didn't make it. I'm sure it will though. 
Yeah, and this one came on the solid bag down in the bay again. It's the second fish this one's done me today. Yeah, mine the same solid bag just behind the camera now down a little channel. That's why I've done all, most of my bites this session to be honest. But yeah, we'll show you the other side. Yeah, gonna get the rod back out and hopefully I can manage a slightly bigger one that isn't isn't a stocky but buzzing for Connor he's having a class session how many is that now six six fish two over 20 22 and this one at 29 too so yeah we'll um we'll get some photos get them back and we'll uh yeah we'll see you in a bit with a bigger, bigger fish all right so I'll just show you the spot now that I'm fishing from. Obviously I'm fishing on a single stick the next swim down. It's not far, it's not like I'm miles away from it. It's literally about 10 foot away from where my other rods are and where I'm sleeping anyway. And as no one's in there, I thought I'd take the opportunity as they're all in this corner, but it's literally in line with that tree opposite. And just a big flick down onto the spot. And that's literally where they've been coming from. Oh, small handful of boily over the spot. She's spread around, it's not have to be perfect. Sink the line, fish it super slack. And that's been my biggest success to be fair on this session. It's done me two of my three fish, five, well. It's done me two out of five runs. Obviously only three of them have been landed. So I'm hoping, I'm confident this will do me another one if not two. We're in our we're into our last night now, so we've had a really good session, so fingers crossed we'll top it off by me having a nice fish, like a upper teen I take or something, because I think the biggest so far I've had's been 13 pound but oh well it is what it is nice to be catching fish can't complain so yeah that's out now we'll just sit back and hope to catch one all right guys we're um, in the last couple of hours of the session now last night flew by just didn't wake up once no runs no knocks nothing at all very quiet um even in the evening yesterday we didn't do an update because there was nothing to really report well, I had, <coughs> I had a run down in that channel again, didn't I? Oh, in the corner. About yeah. half nine, was it? I had one down there, just wasn't really a hard fight or anything. It was coming in and all of a sudden just popped out. I think that's the thing, though, with these stockies, isn't they? They haven't really been caught before. No. All well, the mouths are pristine, but they're still, because they're quite young, their mouths are quite soft. All the ones you've had, haven't they? The, the mouths have been so soft. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're going to start packing up now. Like I said, we've got probably an hour and a half, two hours max left. Um, I mean, I did have a fish around this time yesterday, so I'm hoping maybe to nick one more at the same, you know, same sort of time of day. Brace on it yesterday, both yeah. like that. So hopefully, hopefully we'll nick one before we go. But be nice. If not, then we'll see you in the next video, I suppose. If you like it, then let us, let, know. let us know. <laughs> if it's not very good as well, then let us know. <laughs>